McDonald's french fries are arguably the best fast food item ever invented. With their perfectly crisp exterior and distinct addictive flavor, <laughs> customers love our fries. You can get a better idea of how it's made. <laughs> Okay, so the Toronto Raptors made changes this past offseason. It could be the, the, the LeBron James of the Eastern Conference, guys. This is a great move for the Raptors. This is really the best offer the Spurs had. Toronto won. I think Masai Ujiri came out great in this. They picked up this guy, Kawhi Leonard, a raw talent coming out of San Diego State, nurtured by Greg Popovich and the San Antonio Spurs' hierarchy, became arguably the best two-way player, and finished in the top ten in three-point percentage. He's a stud. Prior to the trade, Chuck Coolin, the head of marketing for McDonald's in Eastern Canada, put together a proposal. Gave away free French fries in Ontario, Canada every time the team, the Raptors, made 12 three-point shots in a game. So, epic fail. Here's why. This year, just in the postseason, they averaged 12. In the regular season, what was their average? 12.4. According to the Financial Post, McDonald's is out more than 2 million medium-sized orders of french fries. Nearly three times the 700,000 orders the company projected its Ontario restaurants would give away during the promotion. Now look, did they have a crystal ball knowing Toronto would trade for Kawhi, Marc Gasol, Danny Green, a 40% three-point shooter for his career, and Pascal Siakam would be in the running, if not the winner, for most improved player? Of course not. Here's the thing. The Kawhi Leonard trade happens, right? McDonald's is gangster about it. It was like, nah, keep the number. Uber confident. And the strategy stunk. It's like trying to take a piss in the wind, as Black Thought would say. Admittedly, one franchiser, Mike Foreman, said, we're sitting there, and you know, honestly, I didn't really have too many clues about how many three-pointers are normal, Foreman said. All of us are, three, two, all of us are on our phones, looking up stats, trying to see what's what. Here's the thing. The regular season this year just outpaced last season's, 44 to 43, hitting the 12th threshold, meaning at an average menu price of 289, $5.8 million worth of fries were given away. Fast forward to the finals. Game one, 13 threes were made. 80,000 free orders given away. McDonald's wisely staff an extra fry cook for the lunch rush on free Fridays. Game two, 11, no fries. Game three, 17. Game four, just below the threshold at 10. We believe it will pay off in the future said franchiser foreman. Now, before you feel any pity, McDonald's's net worth has only continued on an upward trajectory, wanna guess? I'll give you a second. It's in the mega billions. Try $153 billion. One, five, three billion. There was a write-up in 2012, what $100 billion could buy for Apple. Some were fun, Invest in 200 million iPads for every U.S. school and college tuition. Pay off the U.K.'s budget, 43.94 billion pounds, or roughly $70 billion. Buy 59 gift-wrapped space shuttle endeavors. But you know what has not been done with all that money? Raising their own organization's minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. Boom. Roasted.